Air was getting thick. Been waiting for rain. So much for being careful. Terrified. I've got all the best goods here. Check, Check out these ways. Things. Come take a look. All right. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels, emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. So you're interested in the Old Ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. 
But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Rugged? Well-traveled? Like yes. Today? I would like to talk to you. It was all I could do to protect my family. Won't find me.
stock up before you're on the road. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. these wares. The attack came in.
Here they come. Need them soon enough.
I'll find a use for you. of a mess you made. this as a reward. Look out below! Stay out of their way for now. Eclipse. 
I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. Bite out here. The grave ward and the shadow of a metal devil. Great. I'd have to leave something else behind. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Yeah, let's 
Lieutenant. I got you. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. A live one. And his best. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hatch at all costs. Then push back out. Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <sighs> Hard, I guess. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, 
sea was on fire. That stuff was pain. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... Five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Log. First battle of the eastern seaboard wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar, and projections were a lot worse for the east. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like, we know something they don't. I swear. The more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. Where was this place? Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded, and enjoy your gaming. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW. When you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down, I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, and everything will be the way it used to be. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now, and we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had, in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. The Zero Dawn to turn this around? Or whatever the hell that is. The furnishings were... metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it.
<laughs> Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. Red light. Guess that means no power. These wires must run to the power source. Yep. Useful information. seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. Y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations.
three power lines, two sources. That makes one. Whatever power this door should be close by. Figure this out. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons.
of the past. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. It's 
status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit Morrell continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one Earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames, that wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever gonna be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us.
map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how?
hundreds of those all at once. Dr. Sobek, as projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus-class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but... Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, 
Stalin, Sorabella. Add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten, I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Dr. Sobek. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder! Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it, and it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. 
The palace at Sinfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. <sighs> All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Sarah Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. How am I going to get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. <laughs> I'd do that again, if it weren't so much work to get back up there.
give you a good price. Take a look at these wares. I'll give you a good price. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. 
She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosing. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? It's a bomb, Doesn't all look right. too big. Well, crap big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Please. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Boat tracks, with just a bit of blaze in them. What happened to that building? Was Can it an accident? I you and a reasonable oh, share of a the lucrative opportunity? Shut up a bucket line! Would you like to buy something 
today? Sorry, what happened? I haven't had a blast like that since the liberation. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. I wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quit carping, you chuff. Someone's got to guard your ear. Someone better guard your ear. Okay, I'm speaking. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. 
And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Something there! Can we finish this? I've got a sun god to kill. Why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? Where'd you go? Stop. I've led an army. Orchestrals and ravages. A salmon is nothing. I've got a sun god to kill. Alright. Not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Murderous glint hawks. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way.
Should have brought a cart. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? to pester the tinker in the cage. What a laugh. You think that bit of scrap on your brow makes you smart? I'll bet you couldn't have taken apart my bomb without it. Think I'm done? <laughs> think again. I've gotten out of worse scrapes. While the lunkheads in Mainspring dither over how to kill me, I'll dig myself out. Just you wait. When I get out of here, I'm gonna plant a thunder jaw lure in your bed. Gotta admit, it burns me the savage track me down. Most Nora get confused by anything more than two sticks and a string. Don't you have something better to do? Like choke on a lance horn? You think that spear of yours is so fancy, but I could craft it blindfolded during a quick nap. Riding machines? Am I supposed to be impressed? Get one to serve me lunch, then I'll take notice. You're like a bird in a boot, you know that? Just so irritating. Hammer to steel. I hate you. Someday, I'm gonna build a machine with the specific purpose of pulling your braids out. By the great flaming forge, just leave me alone. Spare a moment to speak of the finer thing. That could have been the end of us.
Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Now, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osiram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osiram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines. Weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. 
When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion.
Ranger would have help. They see me. I get it.
There are the handholds, where we said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? What fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. It's a long way to come just for a campfire. I guess I should rest up. 